Yeah man, I do that video yeah, for the Jamaican people, you see me? Because yesterday, uh, about, about two, three days ago, I got up on Facebook and see a video where one brother posts up and and where brother where my brother posts and the man I say, oh, foreign hard and America hard and you see me and like uh, uh, foreign rough and rrr, and oh he might tell people say oh um oh when they come here when they come here nobody think it'll go easy and woo and one one bag of doom and gloom the man the pan you see me so me that try to point out to the brother say look brother man foreign audience foreign audience but you have to put in the work first you understand when you come here don't just come here and stay upon the same level where you come here with come here upon you see me like enough people then come here and they used to them used to work at Popeyes or whatever them used to do at Jamaica you used to be a office person at Jamaica when you come here, you know, man, nothing have transfer over, you know, most of your educational, unless you have GC or something like that, where or SAT, you see me, unless, or, unless you have a degree from a credit, credited um, institution like maybe UWI or UTEC, we work up here too, you see me, you come with them, they know, then we look for your transcript and whatever and evaluate it and see if it's up to the par or the same in the US and most of the time UA and them place there. You know? Pass the test. So if you come here and you have then something there, good for you. At a good start. You hear me tell you? But don't make nobody I tell you I talk to you like it's a doom and gloom thing and like nothing no there in a foreign. You understand what I say? No, foreign, foreign hard, yes, bridging, but foreign hard when you're not putting the work. You see me? You have to put in the work at first. Once you come here, my advice is if you come here to my Jamaican people, so when you come here, you come here or you come out to Canada or you come out to England, whatever it is, you see me? If you come up on a visa, don't run off. Yeah, don't run off. You come up on a visa, do you have a visitor visa, 10 year, 5 year, whatever you have? You just come here and you, you come here and look, see how the place stay. Because some people then come for the first time and then gone. You understand me? I say you can't find them again. And then now, you don't have no papers for work, you don't have no social security number, you don't have no credit score, so you can't go rent a place nowhere. You understand me? I say. So you end up in a train, uh, train station. I sleep in a trip on train from stop to stop. Or some of them women know in a Chicago they are three them are sleeping a serious thing. Three, three Jamaican people are sleeping. You hear me tell you? So yeah, that are gonna end up up to you. That are gonna end up up to you, Bridging. Unless you come up here and you set the thing first. Don't come up here and run off as me I say. You come here and you get a ten year. You just come and you look. Come here and you look. For the first time, go down back and then you prepare again, do some work down at Jamaica and prepare yourself and just come back again. You understand? If you're a man, you're single, you just sit down and you find a nice empress and marry down and make life and get some picnic and populate the earth. You see me? I say, you're, you're a woman, I see them thing. You understand? So um, I said to my bridge inside the other day, say, some man come a foreign and they uh, and them can't straighten up themselves and me no know what to them man they it come like them can't and they know what to so my man then come up here and they might look for the hottest girl they can't find a Kardashian kind of girl they have blood clot look for a that I got reach no for one that's why fuck reach no for one I want to can't get come I want to can't get to the papers I look for hot girl yeah, we have Gucci and bag and boop, boop, boop. And them, there's something they want to run down. Waste girl. They look pretty outside, but they're not nothing in them. You understand? Yeah. Try to find a decent woman. And about a guy in a club. About a guy in a club, go look no woman. You understand what I say? Yeah. 
I have some bread where you come up here and them find some nice empress and them them all live you now, married and settled down. I don't talk about no man where I go use the woman them. You understand? We come in a place and the woman take them from nowhere in a Jamaica and bring them here. And the first thing you do is you can run up and down a road. Like a blood cleat idiot. You can run up and down a road. You don't even set your sink yourself for your yard, but you're ready to run up and down a road. You understand? Yeah. So when you come here, Bridget, my advice is don't come here and run off first thing first when you depend on your visa. Don't run off. Just come here, young yeah, man. After you, you, you would not in a shrink wrap, find a nice catty. Make some picnic when you're married and uh, uh, have a good life. You get your green card, whatever. Love your do it for you now, do it for green card. You hear me tell you? And the woman, them, vice, vice versa, same thing. You understand? You already have a visa. You don't really need to come off and just run off like a fool. You just mess up yourself. And then, and then the people always talk about foreign art because you, you run off and you don't have no papers. You don't have nothing at all. What do you think I got happen to you? You can't get nowhere in America without papers. You can't get nowhere at all. So, you better come and do it the way you say to do it a while ago. And sort out yourself. You see me? But nobody, make it, make nobody tell us nothing that about foreign mashup and whatever, whatever. It's still there for people, still there for people. Once you're there and you have a green card or you're a citizen, you don't have to pay nothing for God college. At least out of your pocket right now, right? But there's options where you don't have to pay a dime either. Because you have scholarship and you have grants, them they don't pay for. But scholarship, you have scholarship and you have grants. Scholarship and grant you don't pay for. But um scholarship and grant you don't pay for. Scholarship and grant you don't pay for. But you have to pay for um you have to pay back for the student loan. You understand what I mean? Say? But smart people um think smart. What me I go do is me work with the um one of the things you can do is you can work for a non for profit or you can work for the state, city, federal government, and in a ten years them pay back the student loan for you. So them something they may have talk about. So the place set up a way where if you go yourself so, and you end up in a problem, there's another avenue where you can go. You get the student loan, you have to pay it back, there's ways to get around it for them pay it for you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So it they are the same way. Foreign, it they are said way. And nobody make nobody scare you know. You understand me? I tell you no. Know? Now come here, it there. You'd have to just sit down and make the sacrifice first. Just come in and think say, okay. And say to myself, say, you know what? I'm going to grind this out for four years. And just go do that damn degree. When you come out. Yeah, depends upon your your um depends upon your um feel of study. You yeah, make one eighteen, twenty dollar or twenty five dollar and me I talk about entry level stuff. When at first if you do IT like when me do, no no time you yeah, make thirty, forty dollar hour. You see me? Yeah, once you get that experience then you get the certification then you're gone, you're good to go, man. So I always I tell the man them bridging we always come here. Plus, when you come here, don't come here and sit down for a green card. I have a whole you know, heap of people. My dad just make a too much time and see too much man I come down with scandal bag. Black can the scandal bag. I never see a suitcase that come off a flight yet. You know, I used to work at Yo Jamaica there and I used to say uh, I think I have every Every first Thursday or something like some Thursday in a month, they usually come down with the year US Marshal. You see, the US Marshal them come off a plane and one bag of man with be a scandal bag come, come down. You understand? So when me come here, me I say, You, you think me I make that happen to me? You sleep mark dead. So you see, when me come here, first thing me do, once I qualify, just go for the citizenship. 
Because once you get citizenship, then you can't, then can't take you out. You understand? There's only five ways you can lose citizenship. I'm going to tell you some of them, the one you remember at least. One is you, have, you can voluntarily give it up. Another one is if you serve in another country army. Another one is if you serve in another country um, government. Another one is you commit treason against America. And another one is if you commit terrorism, like you just become rogue and some Bin Laden type shit and bomb up place and all and something there. You have just ridiculous stuff you have to go do for, for really um, getting a problem like that. You see me? And trust me, if you do one of them sitting there, nobody think you have to go back to Jamaica, you know? Oh, you are rat in a US jail. Okay. So citizenship, Virgin, get your citizenship and you get better pension when you're a citizen now, when you're a permanent resident. You understand? So don't come up here and sit down for a green card. Because one look of miss up so. And you gone back to Jamaica and you blinky blinky. Yeah. But when you're a citizen, you're good. You understand? But yeah, man, no matter Jamaican people in Jamaica, we think about foreign. I want to come a foreign. But I mean, nobody discourage you know. You hear me tell you? The thing there for everybody. The thing there for everybody. I just you for come up here and put your mind to it. And when you come here, don't start par with no man. Don't start par with no man, Bridging. Start get your thing together right away. Start concentrate and keep your head focused. There's some man come here on the first night a club then gone. What kind of start that? I come here, me there almost 10 years in a bridging. A couple months away from 10 years, you know. And a three times I got a club in and me and my wife go in. You hear me tell you? So, them sit there now on a runway. That I think with foreign. If you talk about drugs, it dead a galore. If you talk about party, you can't done it. Woman, you can't done it. Just name it. So if you go in an avenue where Goodness there and prosperity there and upliftment there, you yeah, go see it. It there the galore, all kind of avenue. If you go, you have to just sit down and match it out. If you try to go the next way, drugs, liquor, one was toward that so called mega mart down in Jamaica there. After that, it's just one, just one aisle of liquor. So nobody think you can finish liquor in America. Come here and a drink and a smoke and all kind of thing. If you are drink, have your beer them in your fridge and you sit down and you, you and your wife sit down and drink two juice and hold a one rims. You see me? Yeah. And you go to your work and you take care of your picnic them. And you pay your bills them. Don't. Yeah. Get a nice house and settle down. You see me? Be a, be a foundation for the youth them. You understand? Education. That away there. We don't have to come up here and start out on a thing like that. Nobody make nobody come nobody make no nobody come detract you know. when you come up here. Don't follow company. You see me? When me just come here, man, the man said to me, say, oh dog, what go on? When I come find the man coming here, play star I know the man no the man I know the man no come party aye. Yeah. Party? Me no come here for party. Me no come in America for party, papa. You see me? I want my dad Jamaica me in on a party in. You me tell you, my friend them can't tell you from way down a yard. I'm not going on a party party. I have bigger things to think about. You hear me tell you? Yeah. So don't come up here and depend on that, Papa. Because them things they can't do not foreign. Can't do name it. If you got Toronto, I see them thing, New York. Just name it. New York never sleep yet. But you have to sleep. <laughs> you can't blood clean stay there. So me always tell a man, Bridgen, it there for everybody to see him with your Bridgen. I mean I encourage all of the Jamaican them. You see me, I don't really respond by other rest of country, them Africa, wherever. But me I talk about my Jamaican people them. You see me? When you come here, just make the sacrifice first. Just lay the foundation. Just think about it, say, that for that four year. As me I go just go and rough it out for that four year. And just get the degree. And me know enough I wanna go maybe comment on this and say, 
I know everybody college make fun. Do, 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 do. Me and I know a hey student. When me I go high school, me and a hey student. You understand? Me get, me get what? A 3.5 in an undergrad. And right now, me have a 3.3 in a master's. So, I know like me is a 4.0 person. You understand what I say? 3.5 a big deal still, but what me I say is, what me I say is, Bridget, um, you don't have to be a genius to get it done. All you want is dedication. Plus, just choose something where you love. If you're going to do a degree, just choose something where you love. That I only way I go stick it out. Because it will get rough, you know. Whole heap of work and whole heap of late night. You sit up and I do work just to carry it in the morning there. To make sure you work on time and you know what I say? So you, so you have to do it. So you have to do it. And no matter where you start first, the thing in the, and, and another good thing about the college thing is, Papa, you see when you come here, once you get in a college, you can get in a almost any job. Any job. Me for tell you that. You can get in a any job. Once you're on the track, forget that degree there. Once you sign up and you tell them say you can put that on your resume. Yeah, and say pending and you put the, the date when you are gonna finish. And once them see you up on the track the same way, you are gonna get employed. I see them thing happen to me used to work for Johnson Publishing Company where uh, Ebony and Jet magazine and used to publish and fashion fear cosmetics and uh, be a hip hop artist with the monks and all kind of top people bridging board big board room and you see me but and and then time they never have no degree yet but me the day in a college and them see that you see me so then we get, you know, put you through the door once you get that you dip on a different scale. You didn't get it yet and you, you think up and you step up. So I encourage you, number Jane, just come up here and try to get the education. Try to get the education. If you, if you even don't have education, do the trade school. Do a, go on trade school or something. I have a look at Bridging, one drip Bridging with him, Chucky from um, Chicago there. And for him son, come up here the other day and the man. Toto, big up yourself. You me tell you, big up yourself, you. Can you know, come here, come skylight, me see your thing. Your thing are set up. You see me? And the man come here and the man go on trade school. Him do the four year college thing still. But him go on trade school. And right now, the man go around and uh, I think an electrical him do. Or the AC thing. But before the man left school, the man have a job. You me tell you? I mean, I thought about no $8.25 hour or 25 and and then money there, the man I make. You me tell you? So, it can be done. You have to just make the sacrifice. Just put in the work first and then you will get the reward. It dead. So, big up all my Jamaican people and will come here and they will try to make use of the system because it's there for everybody. And don't make nobody scare you. Like that brother there. We come here and run off on visa like a mukut and then I blame people say foreign hard. That no make no sense to me. Are you put yourself in another position there? You never have to do that. You're going like a boat, you come on. Or you jump over a fence and come here. You come here, you have a visa, you just come through and you come look out the place there. You find a nice cat here and you relax yourself. You see me? Yeah, so the man them bridging, man the man who man them down in Jamaica, it's still there for we are. Still there for they are for we. You understand? Jamaica don't really have the opportunity there where you can see in America. You understand? I try to keep this on 20 minutes still. Almost 20 minutes. But just bless up on yourself, bridging and Jamaica, my Jamaican people them, it they are for we see it way. But I mean nobody telling them say foreign hard. Yes it's hard, but come here and set up yourself first, make the sacrifice as I say. And it go easy and it go smooth for you. Yeah. It go smooth for you. You not go be the smooth road, you know. But guess what? You not go a struggle and have you live in a in a in a tenement yard kind of lifestyle and 
after your side shot for going in your house and all and kind of something there. You understand? You can't afford a nice, decent place. If you live at Chicago, you can't live on the north side, then you have to live on the south and the west side where you're, you're picking them off your side shot for go to school and your side shot for go to work. You understand? So, that's the difference. Just put in the, the work, man. Put in the work. But I make nobody tell you nothing. Come in America, come in England, foreign still there for everybody, and the opportunity still there. And when you come here, make you sight and just listen to what I say. When you can't lose, bless up my Jamaican people, my man. Bless up. And if you say something about some of the drunk or Jamaican, then we are going to come on this and talk shit now. Uno, we come here and talk about people that bash Jamaican and one bag of chattings. Uno, that, uno live in America all our life. Chat on the day chat. Some of them who know who know Jamaica, who know live in America and they attack. Oh, we love Jamaica and never go back to Jamaica from when from when come here. You see me? Every two years, I go back to Jamaica. Some of them never go back yet. You see me? And still across me and come across me because me attack about foreign in a good light. Who know don't like that? Why you not talk about foreign in a good light but who know they are said we? That don't make no sense. If Jamaica was so golden, you know, that they don't see him way, right? You see me? Enough respect to people, then we still that Jamaica and make life. But the the opportunity, them limited, very limited. So, small mouth, I go get that. You see me? But in America, it won't up, Bridget. Won't up. Anybody can do it. As long as you have the dedication that me talk about. So, foreign, we say. Um, the people um, who come and come said we and make life. That's all me I say. Bless up. Have a good night, people.